Thank you, Bill. In tonight's Health Watch, when patients need surgery to clear out blocked arteries, there's a lot of information doctors need before they can operate. One way they can get that information is with an amazing technology that gets them inside views of the blocked blood vessels. KPTV's Kimberly Moss reports. So this is what the catheter looks like. Dr. Marco Kaczynski, a cardiologist and director of the cath lab at Southwest Washington Medical Center, is showing us a very delicate piece of equipment that allows her to see inside a patient's blood vessels. It uh, gives us a better opportunity to evaluate the type of plaque that the patient has, as well as the severity of the lesion, uh, the size of the vessel. It's called IVIS, or intravascular ultrasound, and it helps doctors prepare for life-saving procedures like stenting, where doctors prop open a patient's blocked blood vessel. In a way it's uh, in preparation to a stenting procedure but it also allows us, um, gives us more information in terms of a decision making process as to whether or not a stent should be placed. Once inside a patient's vessel, doctors can decide the best way to treat their patient's blockage because they can actually see the problem up close. Here's how it works. It's a small catheter um, that we are able to place over a, a guiding wire that is already sitting in the patient's vessel. We advance it over the wire inside of the patient's body and into the artery and then um, put it distally into the vessel and on the pullback of the device we actually image the vessel and obtain the, uh, the images. And those images are extremely valuable as doctors make their treatment plans. So this is the inside of the patient's vessel. Uh, this is the uh, artery wall. There's a little bit of plaque buildup that can be seen on the outside side of the vessel here. Uh, the black portion of it actually indicates the area that the blood is flowing through. This is actually where the severe blockage is. Uh, so this used to be the, this is the outside of the vessel. Uh, all of this is plaque buildup. And now we are left with just a small area that the blood flow can be uh, going through at this point. So how do patients react to seeing blockages inside their own arteries? A lot of times actually with amazement uh, in terms of how significant the blockages are. Um, and it certainly, it makes a difference, I think, in how uh, they approach their future medical care. Seeing how much buildup there has been in the past, I think makes them more prone to actually uh, take their medications and be a lot more involved in their medical care when we actually place this device into the vessel and see any type of, any type of plaque buildup, it uh, certainly is a huge incentive to be very aggressive with medical therapy, including blood pressure control, cholesterol control, uh, encouraging the patients to quit smoking, have their diabetes well controlled, encouraging them to exercise and lose weight. And there's one more important use for the IVIS, which comes after doctors have completed their life-saving treatment. We also use it uh, post-stenting uh, to make sure that the stent has been uh, placed appropriately, that it's expanded and opposed, and that has actually been very important in the era of drug eluding stents uh, when making sure that the stent is placed appropriately uh, certainly makes a difference in uh, future clinical outcomes of the patients. Kimberly Moss, the 5 o'clock news. Well, the particular IVIS system used at Southwest Washington Medical Center's cath lab has another unique benefit. It allows doctors to get a breakdown of the composition of the plaque they find inside a patient's blood vessels. And that data used to be only available during an autopsy, of course, after a person had already died.